Hey, this is Tim with BPOS Point of Sale for Tobacco Stores. In this video, we're going to talk about analytics and reporting. Now, if you're the kind of owner that runs your tobacco store and all you want is three or four or five reports out of the system, and that's, that's all you need out of your system to make it work, this video may not be for you. But if you're the kind of person that wants to help drive better decisions in your business and hey, use data and analytics in your system to make your business more efficient, save money, and increase revenue, this is what we're talking about. So there are lots of ways to be able to do this in BPOS, and I'm going to give a few different scenarios and examples of ways that you can be use BPOS. First of all, it's important to note that in reporting, every report in BPOS, is, except for maybe one, is customizable. You can tweak every report to be the way you like. You don't have to call us or call our tech support or anybody else, you have the tools. We'll teach you how to use them to build your own reports. Now, there's tons of predefined reports that you can use in the system, but everybody wants to look at this a little bit different way, and so we give you the tools to be able to design and do that. Now, you can also set up those reports, save them as your own personal reports, and schedule them to be sent automatically to whoever on whatever schedule. Some of those tools can be used to help you optimize your business, too. But we can analyze things like inventory levels, pricing levels, um, patterns for your employees, patterns for your products, uh, patterns for your customers with your loyalty accounts. All of that data in the system could be analyzed to help you make better decisions about your business. If we're analyzing employee data, we might be able to try to figure out who are the best salespeople within our organization or the most likely thieves within our organization. We might be able to find employees who are abusing certain procedures or policies or, or functions within the software or people who have really good behaviors. We might be able to analyze our customers and what their buying habits are and whether we should be sending promotions to certain customers, what things they buy, how many of them they buy, how many dollars, who's our best customer. All of those kind of data points are easily accessible in BPOS. If we're looking at products, we might be able to decide which products are probably worthy of discontinuing and which products we need, we need to uh, use promotions on or discount and, and would be good candidates for those promotions. And I'll go a little bit deeper on, just on one topic because it, it'll just show a, a few other ideas. And we could do this for hours, so we'll just kind of keep this brief. But we could talk about inventory levels or actually just products in general. There are a lot of things where as a business operator, you may be trying to wear 20 hats. And so all the different spinning plates that you've got running, sometimes you lose track of some spinning plate and it, those are the ones that get you some days. You're like, wow, I totally got my eye off the ball and that one was a problem. What you can do is automate reports and they can be scheduled to particular managers who were responsible for the piece, or if you're the owner, they could be scheduled to remind you to keep you up with certain tasks. So we'll talk about a couple examples of this, but there could be many, many more. So for example, you have products that, are, that haven't sold in a timely fashion. I've never, almost never been in a store that has at least a thousand products where you've got a product that's sitting on the shelf and not a single one of those products has sold for a year or more, right? And those really are tying up value on your shelf, right? If they're tying up, you only have so many square feet and every product that isn't selling is really a detriment to your business because you could generate more profit if I could put a better product in there. So if I can identify products that are slow moving or not moving at all, I know what to put on clearance. I'd be better off really from an operational standpoint if I got a product that doesn't sell an entire year to throw it in the garbage than to keep it on the shelf. However, I don't recommend you throw it in the garbage. You'd be, you could clearance it, get it moved out and get a better moving product in that store. BPOS can help you with those decisions and identify those slow moving or no moving products. Now, those reports could be scheduled to be automatically sent to you on a weekly or monthly basis to remind you to review that list of what products might be good candidates for clearance. Another list of products that you might have problems with 
is products that have a low margin. Let's say your supplier ups the cost on a particular product and the person who receives it, might even be you, but the person who receives it forgets to adjust the price. So there's a couple ways that I could identify this. I could send myself a report of all the products that are below a certain margin and I'd have it sent to me weekly so that I, here's all the products that are below 20% margin or whatever the margin level is you want it to be. And all those report, all those products are then products that I need to go and adjust the price on, right? Now, there's more than one way to skin that cat, but that, that will start with that idea. Now, if you have a larger organization, you've got a manager who's responsible for this, I could have that report sent to the manager with an email every week that says, hey, you need to go change the prices on these products. Now, what you can do from an accountability standpoint is have that same report sent however many days later to their manager. You give them a week to fix those products. Probably you're not going to give them a week if prices are at stake, but give them some time to fix that report and then send a follow-up email automatically several days later to their manager or the owner of the business and say, here's the follow-up on that report. And if we still have a bunch of items that have wrong prices, that means that person didn't do their job. So now you can immediately call them and say, hey, you got a report, you need to go change your prices. Keep up with your job, right? So it can be built in accountability for your managers if you wanted to. Now you could also do this with negative quantity inventory. You know, the negative quantity inventory means something in your processes are not being handled right. If I've got a negative quantity inventory, maybe I got a receipt of new goods and I forgot to receive it. Maybe I did a transfer and I forgot to complete it. Maybe I did a count incorrect, but something in the process hasn't been completed correctly. So I could do that same process, send that negative quantity inventory to a manager, say, hey, you need to go figure out what's wrong with these products and count them or whatever it takes to get that resolved, and then send back the accountability email to their manager several days later to, to find out if they actually did their job. Or if you're the owner, send that report to yourself just to remind you that you need to check on these products and make sure that, you've, that your team is following the process or you're following the process. So that's just a few ideas about how analytics could be used, but we could go on in this topic for hours. So if you would like to talk to us about how BPOS could help you improve your business, improve your bottom line, we would love to talk to you. You can call us at the number on the top of your page or click on the link below.